Uno, dos, tres, hello. Welcome to Ramble on Potato. My name is Potato. That's my dad, Potato. We're gonna, and I'm pretty excited because this is the last acts. Act five, right? Or scene five. Yes, there's always only five acts in a Shakespearean play. That's weird. Okay, so shall we get into it? Yes, this is one And you're probably wondering why I am speaking in the normal tone of a human. I am actually not hyped on sugar today. All right, let's okay. hear it for sugar diets. Sugar diets, yay. So this is the scene, uh, this is the famous scene oh. where um, hey. we see that Lady Macbeth is losing her mind. And our Lady Macbeth will be played today by... The book. <laughs> and keep in mind, I'm not going to say any other... Never mind. Yeah, she doesn't have many lines, so you can. I think you can pull this off. Okay. Enter a doctor of physic, which I think is just like a doctor, and a waiting gentlewoman. Yeah, it it's just like says gentlewoman. It okay. says waiting in my book. No, it says gentlewoman. My book is bigger, so I would go with my book. I say my book I've got is footnotes in my, my book. My book has pictures, man. My book is 30 years old. My book is... Immortal. <laughs> Doctor, I have two nights watched with you, but can perceive no truth in your report. When was it that she last walked? She's, she's sleep, sleepwalking. Gentlewoman, since his majesty went into the field, I have seen her rise from her bed, throw her nightgown upon her, unlock her closet, take forth paper, fold it, and write upon it, read it afterwards, seal it, and then again turn to bed. Yet all this while in a most fast sleep. Doctor, a great uh, perturbation in nature. You know what a perturbation is? To be perturbed? Oh. Something strange, right? That you're saying perturbation. Perturbation is the word. To receive at once the benefit of sleep and do the effects of watching and this slumbering agitation besides her walking and other actual performances what at any time have you heard her say gentlewoman that sir which i will not report after her so she's not going to say doctor well, that's weird. you you may to me so you can trust me and tis most um uh, it says most meat you should. Mm -hmm. like Neither to you nor anyone having no witness to confirm mm -hmm. my speech. Mm -hmm. Enter Lady Macbeth. <coughs> Do I say something? Uh, not yet. Mm -hmm. um, but she looks weird. She looks like she's sleepwalking. So give me your best sleepwalking look. Okay. <laughs> Just like normal face. And then they lower their voices. Lo, you, here she comes. This is her very guise, and upon my life, fast asleep, observe her, stand close. They stand aside. How came she by that light? So she's holding a candle. Um, or a, uh, uh... By the way, can we just appreciate this cat? Mm -hmm. Can we just appreciate how actually good... All right, your big moment is coming up, so I hope you, ah, okay. you have a short line and then a long, longer one. Um, how came she by this light? Gentlemen, why? It, um, it stood by her. Uh, she has light by her continually. You said gentleman. Gentlewoman. Okay. Continually. Tis her command. So she always has, she doesn't want to be alone in the dark. Doctor, you see her eyes are open. Gentlewoman. I, but their senses are shut. Doctor. What is it she does now? Look how she rubs her hands. Mm. Yeah, not exactly. She's fine. Uh, thank you. Gentlewoman, it is an accustomed action with her um, to seem thus washing her hands. I have known uh, her continue in this for a quarter of an hour. Lady Macbeth. Mm. 
Yet here's a spot. Yet here's a spot. Dr. Hart, she speaks. I will set down what comes from her to satisfy my remembrance of the more strongly. Mm, now, I will say it. I've been forced to, by the way. <clears throat> out, damn spot. Out, I say. One, two, why then? Tis time to do it. Do it. Hell is murky. Fire, my lord, fire. A soldier affaired? What need we fear? Who knows it? When we own, own can call our power to account, yet who would have thought the old man to have, have had so much blood in him? Do you mark that? Mm. I, eh. Keep going. You don't have to hear me. <laughs> Whenever I do that, that means he's like nudging me. The thing for Scythe had a what? Had a wife. Uh, that crazy. Crazy. Well, I don't really like All right, that crazy. Get ready for it. Here it comes. <laughs> Dylan woman. If you didn't edit this out, it's going to look so weird. Dylan woman. It is an accustomed action. Get ready for crazy. Um, it is an accustomed action with her to see him thus washing her hands. I have I'm known sorry. her to continue in this a quarter of an hour. Yet there is a spot. Hark, she speaks. I will set down what comes from her to satisfy my remembrance of the more strongly. Out, out, damn spot. Out, I say. One, two, why then? Tis time to do it. Oh, I thought you stopped the recording. I was uh, like, oh. <laughs> keep sorry. going. <clears throat> You're doing good. My, um. You want to take it from the top? Yeah, I messed All up right. with the my book. All right, we're, gonna go like we're not going to stop it. We're just get ready. Just get us. Go for it. <laughs> Go for, you hold sorry, the book, right. man. Thank you. My remembrance more strongly. Out! Damn spot! Out, I say! One, two, why then? Tis time, do it! Hell is murky! Fire, my lord, fine! A soldier who feared. What need we fear? Who knows it? When none who can call a power to account, yet who would would have thought the old man would have so much blood in him? That was Very like good. It only took you three takes, but no, it was like I 20. felt it that time. I felt it. All right, and the doctor says, "Do you mark that?" The sign, <laughs> the sign, <laughs> the sign of five had a wife. <laughs> Come on. Come on, back in the character. <laughs> Bring it down. I mean, you would have thought, okay. You would have thought that a crazy person had had such a human. I'm editing this out and feeling. No! Mm -mm. The saying of Scythe had a wife. Where is she now? What? Will sh will these hand near to be clean? No more. Oh what? Oh what that, my lord? No more. Oh that you nar all th this is uh, all with this daring. Starting. Starting. Doctor, go to, go to. Uh, you have known what you should not. In other words. She knew about this, about the murder. They realized that there was a murder. Gentlewoman, she has spoke what she should not. I am sure of that. Heaven knows what she has known. Here is a smell of blood still. All perfumes, all, or whatever that word Arabia. is. Arabia. Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. Oh, oh, oh. What a sigh is there. The heart is sorely changed, gentlewoman. I would not have such a heart in my bosom for the dignity of the whole body. Really? How many times have we heard bosom already? You said bosom. Well, 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 says Dr. Gentleman. Pray God it be, sir. 
Doctor, this disease is beyond my practice. Yet I've See, known psychiatric help. Yet I've known those which have walked in their sleep who have died uh holily in their beds. Hol hol holily, yeah. No. It's uh so tired. Where is it where you say it? Walked in their sleep, who have died holily in their bed. Holy. In other words, holy as in at peace. No, I know. Holy. Holily. It's yeah. an adverb form of holy. So basically, whole lily. Mm mm. Yeah, yeah, it's whole lily. Holy. Illy. Illy. Whole yeah. li illy. Yeah. Holy. Holy. No, you keep uh, saying, you keep adding some, you keep adding an L. Holily. Holy. Otherwise, it would just be holy. But you don't die wholly, you die holily. Because it's the adverb modifying. Alright, let's just keep death. going. Not dying. It's the verb dying. It's your turn. Oh. Wash your hands. Put on your. Wash your hands. Put your night down. Look not so pale. I tell you yet again. That's your turn. No. Oh, Banquo is buried. He cannot come out, out on grave. On, on, on his grave. On his grave. On his grave is what she means. Even so. Uh, bed. To bed, to bed. There is knocking at the gates. Come, 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 come. Give me your hand. What's done cannot be undone. undone. To bed, to bed, to bed. Exit the lady. And don't you remember in the uh, right after they um, killed uh, Duncan oh, wait, in their wait, castle? Oh wait, wait, wait! I have, a, I have at the door. a proclamation. Mm -hmm. He said he said the M word. You have no video evidence of that. But you got to do it, man. Do Doctor, it. Do it. will she go now to bed? <laughs> Directly. Wait, the we've gentleman. lost the microphone. Okay, just hold it. We're almost there. Doctor, foul whisperings are abroad. Unnatural deeds do breed unnatural troubles. Infected minds to their death pillows the will discharge their secrets. Mm. More needs she the divine than the physician. God, mm. God, forgive us all. Look after her. Remove from her the means of all annoyance. In other words, make, make it as quiet as possible in there. And still keep eyes upon her. So good night. My mind she has mate, mated and amazed my sight. I think, but dare not speak. Gentlewoman, good night, good doctor. Exuant. End scene one. Well, that was intense. Go ahead and get the cat in the picture. He's licking his butt. <laughs> Scene two, drum and colors. Can I get a drum beat at least? That was. <laughs> this is how you no, it, would be, it would be. Drum, 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 drum. Like marching soldiers. That's enough. Enter Monteith, Caithness, Angus, Lennox, and soldiers. Do you know who they are? Do you remember who they are? Sun. No. Humans. There are other noblemans. Um, there are other noblemans that are in Scotland and they're waiting for the British soldiers to come. Oh. Monteith. The English power is near, led on by Malcolm, who we know, remember, is the son of the former king. Is that good or bad? Huh? Good or bad? Well, it depends on who, who you're pulling for at this point. England. <laughs> So remember, they were, Malcolm was going to bring 10,000 soldiers. Mm. His, um, his uncle, Seward, and the good Macduff, uh, revenges burn in them for their dear causes would do the bleeding oh and the grim alarm excuse the mortified man, Angus. Near Burnham Wood shall we well meet them the way that they are coming. Caithness. No. <laughs> Who knows if Donald Bain will be with his brother? Lennox, for certain, sir, he is not. 
I have a uh, I have a file of all the gentry. There is seaward sun and many unruffed youths that even now protest their first of manhood. Monteith, what does the tyrant? So in other words, what is the tyrant doing? I can't read because of the cat. Um, Technical difficulties. Caithness, great... Great Dunsinane, he strongly fortifies, <laughs> said the castle of Dunsinane. I'm not going to eat um, your hand. You some say it. he's mad. Others that lesser hate him do call it in valiant fury. But for certain, he cannot buckle his distemper distempered cause within the belt of rule. So in other words, he's losing his grip on the country. So basically, <laughs> Anglis, he's just like, ruin, so this was before. Yes. Pulling people in. Mm hmm And then, like, oh, shoot, I can't pull the rope anymore. The... Basically what happened. Angus, now does he feel his secret murder sticking on his hands? Now minutely revolts, um, upbraid his uh, faith breach. Those he commands move only in command, nothing in love. Breach. So people are just doing things because he... He's telling them to, but not because they respect him. Now does he feel his title hang loose about him, like a giant's anything. robe upon a dwarfish thief? Really? You can't eat this? Monteith. Who then shall blame his pestered senses to recoil and start, when all that is within him does condemn itself for being there? Caithness. Well, we march on to give obedience where it is truly owed, meet we um, the medicine of the sticky wheel, and with him pour we in our country purge each drop of us, Lennox, or so much as it needs, to do the sovereign flower and drown the weeds, make we our march through Burnham. Okay, so... Exuant marching. Basically... They're about to win the war, or lose it. Yeah, and they actually say, it's kind of a neat little um, uh, metaphor here. They say they, uh, the, uh, to, uh, t or so, uh, or, or so much as it needs. You will not eat it do, unless it's in my hand. To do life. the sovereign, uh, so, so he says, to do the sovereign flower. So it means give a little bit of water to the sovereign flower. The sovereign flower is that the real kingship of Scotland and drown the weeds. And so the weeds would be... England. No, would be the um, the Scottish king. Oh, shoot. I was stand landing yeah. on the um, microwave. Because the, the, the weeds choke out the flowers, right? If they go under control. Did go I say microwave? Control. I meant microphone. Just eat your whatever nut. All right. Scene three. Enter Macbeth, doctor in attendance. Macbeth. Bring me no more reports. Let them fly all till Burnham Wood moves to Dunsinane. Because remember what the witches said, that he wouldn't be defeated until Burnham Wood marched on um, his castle. <laughs> I cannot taint with the fear. What's the boy uh, Malcolm? Was he not born of woman? The spirits that know... So basically, he was a birth... So he was birthed by a man? Well, remember, he's referring to the witch's prophecy that in the first, he would not... His kingdom wouldn't fall until Burnham Wood marched upon his castle. And secondly, that no one could kill him who was born of woman. And so that's what he's saying, is that... Um, um, the, the boy Malcolm, right, right, exactly. So he believes he's he's um, uh, he cannot be defeated at this point. The spirits that know all mortal consequences have pronounced me thus: Fear not, Macbeth. No man that's born of woman shall ever have power upon thee. Then fly, false thanes, and mingle with the English epicures. The mind I sway by, and the heart I bear shall never uh, sag with doubt nor shake with fear. So he, he knows that the other thanes, uh, Monteith and Angus and 
Linux and all that have joined in with the um, with the English who are coming. Enter a servant. The devil damn the black, thou cream-faced loon. Where goest thou, that goose look? What in the world does that mean? What? The water? The water? Loon. A stupid fellow. He calls him a, he's calling me a stupid fellow. I just wrote something at him. Thou cream-faced stupid fellow. And when goest thou, that goose look. And the servant says, There is ten thousand. Macbeth. Geese, villain? Servant. Soldiers, sir. Macbeth. Go prick thy face and overread thy fear. Thou li lily-livered boy. What soldier's patch, death of thy soul, those linen cheeks of thine are counselors to fear. What soldier's way face? So he's calling him all these insults like way face and lily livered and linen cheeks, white cheeks, and servant. The English force, sir, so please you, Macbeth. Take thy face, hint, hint, and exit, servant. Seton, I am sick at heart when I behold. Seton, I say, this push will cheer me ever or dissent me, uh, uh, defeat me now. Deceit me now. I have, I have lived long enough. My way of life is fallen into the sear, the yellow leaf, that which should uh, um, accompany old age. So he, in other words, he feels like he's closer to death than he actually should be in age. As honor, love, obedience, troops of friends I must not look to have, but in their stead. Curses, not loud but deep, mouth honor, breath, which the poor heart would fain deny and dare not. Seton, enter Seton. Seton, What's your gracious, gracious pleasure, Macbeth? What news more? Seton, all is confirmed, my lord, which was reported. Macbeth. That's a, Seton's a weird name. <laughs> I'm sorry to any of you. Oh, it may be Seton. Seton. It's S E Y T O N. Seton. Not Seton. 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 Well, it could. S E Y can sometimes be pronounced as a, an A sound. Macbeth, I'll fight till my bones, uh, my flesh be hacked. Give me my armor. Seton, tis not needed yet. Macbeth, I'll put it on. Send out more horses. Scur the country round. Hang those that talk of fear. Give me my armor. How does your patient, how does your patient, doctor? So the doctor is there. He's talking about his wife. <coughs> doctor, not so sick, my lord. As she is troubled with uh, thick coming fancies that keep her from her rest. Macbeth, curse her of that, cure her of that. Canst thou not minister to a mind diseased? Pluck from the memory of a rooted sorrow, raise out the written troubles of the brain, and with some sweet oblivious antidote, cleanse the stuff, stuffed bosom of that perilous stuff which weighs upon the heart. Technically, it's called um, therapy. Yeah, they, yeah. They, had, they didn't have that word. They, could, they didn't make that much money back then. Doctor, therein the patient must... But I mean, nowadays... Well, listen, this was the philosophy. The doctor says, therein the patient must minister to himself. So, in other words, it's up to the person to get better. Macbeth, Throw physic to the dogs. In other words, medicine is worthless. I'll, I'll none of it. Come, put mine armor on and give me my staff. Attendants, arm him. Satan, send out. Doctor, the thanes fly from me. Come, sir, dispatch. If you could, doctor, cast the water um, of my land. Find her disease and purge it to a sound and pristine health. I would applaud thee to the very echo that should applaud again. Pull it off, I say. What rhubarb, senna, or other purgative drug 
would scour the English hints. Hearest thou them? Doctor. So now he's comparing the English soldiers to a disease on the country. And he wants to he ask the doctor, can you do anything to get rid oh. of them? Oh, he said Macbeth. Oh. <laughs> doctor. Ah, oh, my good Macbeth. lord. Your royal preparation I makes us it. hear Excuse something. Me. All right, make it quick. Make you it quick. Join me, though. No, I'm not. I didn't say it. It's that in the context of the no, play. No, you said it before we even got here. Mm-hmm. Do you have video evidence? Yes. Are you gonna mind. Are you gonna go through the purging purging ritual? Here, take this. Uh, all right, make it quick. Here, I'll keep everybody occupied. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we are at scene four of Act Five. Welcome back. I gave up ice cream for this. It's melting over there. And it's for a good cause, and I get to show off my new um, monster hand book light. And it's a skeleton. It looks. Like, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. So scene four. Things are starting to get serious. The ten thousand. The 10,000 soldiers have come from England. They're marching on um, uh, Dunsinane. Uh, uh. No, not yet. No. Yes. First, we hear, first we hear drum and colors. Exactly. Enter Malcolm Seward Macduff, Seward's son, Monteith. Uh, Caithness and Angus, and Lennox and Ross. Ross! Yeah, but he doesn't have a line oh. here. Uh, Big Duff will Does be played by Rosalie. Huh? So then we hear soldiers marching. You can do the drums and the soldiers too. All right. You can play that in the background if you turn the volume down really low. Malcolm, cousins. See, they're all related. Brothers. Uh, cousins, I hope the days are near at hand, but the chambers will be safe. In other words, that they'll be safe when they go to their bedroom chambers will be safe. Monteith, we doubt it nothing. And then it says, which means, you know, we're, we know it for sure. See, we're... What wood is that before us? Monteith, the wood of Burnham. Malcolm, let every sol soldier hew him down a bough and bear it before him. Thereby shall we shadow the numbers of our host and make discovery, air, and report to us. So they're going to cut down the trees of Burnham Woods and hide behind them and slowly... Well, that's, Sneak that's up on. Bad for your... Yes, his worst nightmare. Um, My soldiers. Worst nightmare. Ross's worst nightmare. Soldiers all together say, "It shall be done." Right? Do, do, one, two, one. one. It, it shall, shall be, be done. done. Thank you. Wait, no. Wait, that didn't oh. sound very soldierly. Shall we do it again? C word. No. no they've one, left. Two, three. It shall <laughs> be done. C word. <laughs> We learn no other, but the confident tyrant still keeps in Dunsinane and will endure our setting down before it. Malcolm, get ready for your line. Uh, Tis the main hope for where there is advantage. I'm not Malcolm. No, I'm just getting you ready. Oh. Uh, for where there is advantage to be given, both more and less are given him the revolt. And none serve with no him. Way. He cannot do a Scottish accent even if he tries. And none serve with him but constrain things he whose hearts are absent too. So he's saying the only people that are with him are people that are forced to be with him. So they don't really, aren't really loyal to him in his heart. And then Macduff says, Let our censures, did I say it right? Mm -hmm. Let our censures attend the true event and we put and we put on we English not English and put we on 
industrious soldier ship. Right. So, in other words, let us uh, let not the, speak the, English. The proof be in the pudding. Att and attend speak the true English event poem. means we'll wait to see what happens, uh, and uh, they'll put on industrious soldier ship. Seaward, the time approaches, and more soldiers and marching. The time approaches that will, with due decision, make us know that we shall say we have and what we owe. Did you hear that line? Rhyme? No, no. Thought speculative, their unsure hopes relate, but certain issues strokes must arbitrate um, toward which advance the war. Exuant, marching. You see, everyone's like... Everyone, okay, everyone's leaving. The, um, the, wait, no, the drum, the drum, the drums have exuded. Exuant, the drums have exuded. All right, well, so anyway, we are headed to war, and the woods of Burnham are going to be on the move soon. So, uh, it's a very exciting time in the life of the Scottish king. And with that, Rose, you want to take us out? What have you chosen for us today? You have, and I didn't put this in. <laughs> Just like, if you, like, want me to eat this ice cream, because I really do, subscribe and share, because, like, you know what? People actually don't, like, surprisingly, people don't share, say, share your video, you know? And surprisingly, it doesn't happen very often, so, you know what? Be that different man woman, person, and just share it. All right, take us yeah. out. Well, that Please. was, I, I, just <laughs> I just did. I just did. I'm done. I'm going to get my ice cream now. All right, she's going to have ice cream. And it music. Like, it's non-dairy. And music, yeah. Non-dairy, man. This is what McDuff is saying. No. We will rock you, yes. No. This is getting really boring. Did you bring enough ice cream for everybody? <laughs> Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> I can't shut it off. <laughs> Thank you.